Hello there, Ranger Nation. This is White Titanus Ranger taking over from Gold King Ranger. Don't tell him that I'm taking over. Hi. Got a very interesting... Oh, damn it. <laughs> he called me. <laughs> Hello there, Power Ranger what? fans. This is um, the Gold King Ranger team once again. We are here doing another Gold King Ranger podcast for you guys with your hosts, Admin Gold King Ranger, the leader. Make sure you remember that White Titanus Ranger. But yeah, over to my amazing <laughs> co-stars or teammates. White Titanus Ranger. And the second in command, FBD Shadow Ranger. Okay, this is going to be a very fun <laughs> podcast, I can tell. <laughs> and in today's podcast, we are talking about, well, this is an interesting topic. We're talking about Power Rangers growing up in the uk so we're basically going to share what it's like growing up watching and growing up as a power ranger fan in the uk because we hear a lot about power ranger fans and growing up in the series in america but we don't really get to hear a lot of stories of well childhood stories or what was it like growing up with the power rangers in the uk so the three of us decided do you know what we want to share our childhood stories with you guys and tell you guys what was it like growing up watching and being a Power Rangers fan in the UK. I mean, me personally, I mean, I've been a Power Rangers fan for since Mighty Morphin um, and since the show aired in the UK in 1994 on the DJ Cat show. And uh, that was like an old kids channel um, where it was just like a puppet cat and there was like a male presenter as well. Uh, um, as well. And... Um, and that's what that was where I used to watch Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and then it was also on Sky One as well. But yeah, I remember the f um, the first episodes I saw of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers were the Green with Evil saga. But that's me, uh, Peter. What about what about you? Where do you remember first getting into Power Rangers? First, remember different memories of when my first memory was. So I'll tell you what my most vivid memory was. Mr. Motivator, GMTV, mm. Saturday mornings. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the most adamant thing I could remember. And there was another guy. Um, I think his name was Timmy Mallet or something. He did them occasionally, sort of the Saturday morning introductory yeah. thing that they did. But when I first started watching Power Rangers, I believe it was, I was a bit of a latecomer to the Power Rangers. Well, for my time anyway, I think I started in season two. Um, I always remember Lord Zed being the guy. And then when someone go, oh, Pete, do you know, you missed a bit here. I was like, oh, really? You heard of the Green Ranger? No. Whom, whom is this Green Ranger of which you speak? <laughs> 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 yeah, we, we know the business by now. Yeah, but, uh, that's fun. Um, yeah. yeah, Matt, what about you? Where where did you where do you come into getting into Power Rangers? Where did it start with you? Oh, um, basically my first memory back, I would be Time Force was like near enough the first neutral Power Rangers series I can near enough remember. I don't remember much about the TV show, but I do remember I got like the Time Force Megazord. I even, um, when, when I even got it, I forgot to actually take up the sword out of the box, and I think we threw away the box with the sword in. So, oh, no. literally today. No. <laughs> but today, but, but thankfully, using eBay, I managed to construct a new one. Oh, brilliant. I'll, That's I'll good. I'll spare parts, so that was good. So that was the year 2000, and, so yeah, so that would have been 2001, 2002 time. But let's not go too yeah, far no. ahead. We're not, let's not go too far ahead into the future. So let's go back in time. So back to the 90s. So, um, so Peter. Racing to an avatar. Chronomorphous. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough of that. <laughs> so yeah, so Mighty Morphin Power Rangers started in the UK in 1994. Um, on the DJ Cat show, and it, it was also on GMTV and on Sky. The thing is, I didn't see it on GMTV until um, season three and um, Power Rangers Zio, because I've actually got a couple of episodes of Power Rangers Zio when my dad used to take them off the telly on um, off GMTV, and I've still got 
the episodes on video to this day, which is really cool. And I always remember they had this weird um, transition. Um, so it, when it came to an advert break, you would have this. It was like this um, thing and it was like electrical and it was like a circle and it had like the Power Ranger lo Zio logo. I've got the clip on my on my laptop somewhere, so that's pretty cool. Just, just for kids who are from the, in the future watching this, there were adverts between when, uh, during the series, there was adverts in between, not like in Netflix today where we have literally this continuation of it. In, in also, the dark times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We used to have black boxes called videotapes that we could record TV on and like, or buy them on VHS um, as well, because I had a, I had, I mean me, I, my mum and dad bought me a lot of the My Muffin Power Rangers VHS tapes. Um, the first ones I actually had were Day of the Dumpster um, with High Five and uh, Teamwork and Oppressed Engagement, so that was volume one and two. And the thing I remember about the My Muffin videotapes um, as a kid was um, you had the each video tape had a power ranger character so like the red ranger and then goldar so usually it's like a, a ranger and a baddie or monster usually that's usually featured in that video so like day of the dumpster volume one had the red ranger and goldar on the front and then there was this hill where you had the hill that matched the color of the ranger on the tape so like red ranger so you had a red hill and then you had all five Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on top of that hill doing their ranger poses, which I actually liked that. And then Yellow Ranger had, um, see, Volume 2 had the Yellow Ranger with Babu, and the hill was yellow instead of red. And then as you collected the videotapes, when you got up from Volume 1 to Volume 10, you put them together and it made the Power Ranger logo on the side. And that, I thought, was really cool. And they continued that also when they did volumes 11, 12 and onwards. And another thing I loved it was... I thought it was weird, though, when they didn't do all of season um, one on videotape. Because sometimes you had videotapes where that you have them exclusive at shops. Like, there was a, a Tesco's exclusive videotape. We had um, Love, Peace and Woe and Power Ranger Punks. And there was a Woolworths exclusive, exclusive where you had Calamity, Kimberly, and um, uh, oh, what was the one with the Rumpelstiltskin? Wheel of Misfortune, that's it. Um, and I thought that was a really good videotape as well. And, I mean, okay, this is a season two video, but the Woolworths exclusive did uh, Wild West Rangers parts one and two. Uh, but the strange thing with that video was it had My Morphin Red Ranger Mutitis, um, on from um, uh, what was the name of the episode? Um, Island of Illusion parts one and two, and the on the hill it was red and it had a uh, mighty morphing red, blue, black, and so on. And but what was really cool was by the time we had up to volume 11, 12, 13 onwards, it had the Green Ranger on the hill instead of um, well, just having the main five. And then when season two videos came out, I mean, unfortunately, we only had four four videos I think we had we had uh, White Light parts one and two um oh I want two for one and then Opposites Attract that was volume two volume three was uh, Zed's Monster Mash and then a, a Monster of Global Proportions then volume four was like it had like I think it was like four episodes of season two then for season three we had um a Ninja, Ninja Quest parts one and one two three four uh, for some reason that was volume one and then a friend in need parts one two three was volume two and i thought that was a bit odd shouldn't that be shouldn't i think it should have been that um um a friend in a friend in need should have been the first volume for the volume for season three videos and not volume two but yeah there you go the thing i always found with the vhs i mean obviously i was a little kid at the time as you do. <laughs> you collected season one VHS cassettes for people that actually know what VHS cassettes are. <clears throat> I'm too young. I'm too young to know what they are. I don't know what you talk about. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> you collected season one. <laughs> you collected season one. It went all the way up to Cyclopsis, which in the Sentai Zoo Ranger, that, that was the end. That was the dual end. Oh. 
Yeah, because Doomsday was um, the last episode originally in Zoo Ranger, except obviously in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. That would have been the last episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but then since then was that since they were able to get more stock footage, they carried on the series, and that's kind of where it ended. So it's kind of a shame they didn't do any more season one episodes on video. Like I would have loved to have had um, Return of an Old Friend on video. That would have been cool. Because this is what I'm getting at. It finished at Cyclopsis, and then literally the next video you buy is White Light. Yeah, Volume Two, uh, Series Where's Two. Where's Lord Zed come from? Where the Thunderzords come from? What's happened here? <laughs> I mean, it should have been Volume One. Should have at least been for seri- for Season Two v- VHS tapes. It should have been um, the Mutiny Parts One, Two, Three. But yeah, so that's videotapes. What about toys and merchandise? I mean, um, what was your? I mean, what, what was what was your guys' first Power Ranger toys? Uh, like Matt, what was your first Power Ranger toy as a kid? Well, I think my when the first comes to mind would probably be the uh, Time Force Megazord, as well as um, some of the you know, um, toy you know figurine types of people. Oh, you mean the act? Like do you mean the action figures? Yeah, like the action figures. Yeah, the action figures. Yeah. Oh, cool. So I had the uh, Red Quantum Ranger figurine. Um, what else did I have? Um, that was a hard figure to find. That one, the Quantum Ranger. But he had like little attachments on him as well. Like, um, oh, that probably would have been like the Mega like, Battle figures and stuff, or the yeah. um, Battle uh, Battle Warrior Rangers. I really wanted the yeah. Battle of Fire Red Battle Warrior Ranger Battleizer figure. I would have. I really wanted that figure as a kid, but um, it weren't easy I to come by. The, and I actually got the uh, PS One um, Power Rangers Time Force game. I've which got. Was, yeah, I've got I that. Have vague memories of it. Yeah, I've got that game, and I've also got Lightspeed Rescue um, as well, and that was fun to play. Yeah. But um, just so we don't go too far ahead again. But obviously, obviously, Matt grew up um, with Power Rangers, Time Force, and stuff. So that was obviously a season he grew up with, which is interesting because some Power Ranger fans, like in America, some Power Ranger fans come into a season a little later. Whereas Peter and myself grew up with Mighty Morphin. Um, Peter, what was your first um, uh, Mighty, uh, Power Rangers toy as a kid? Do you remember? I've got two very very distinct memories of what could quite easily either one of them first power ranger toy so i'll tell you both stories the first one was an automorph figure the i remember going figures. from the argos catalog where you press the button and the head flips yeah and i saw them in i believe it was the argos catalog at the time yeah and i said oh mum can you after work go get me this one, I'd like the green one, please. And she went, and I've come home from school, I've got all excited, yes, she's getting it today, so I've gone home, I've got my Legos out, I've built myself a little command centre, it's like, yes, the Green Ranger will be appearing any moment now, and Mother Dearest, she turns up with Billy. (laughs) 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 I've got nothing against Billy. But he's no Tommy, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, thank you, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, so, Mum. I'm just gonna. You, I'm just gonna strangle you in the middle of the night. <laughs> well, get me the wrong damn <laughs> colour. <laughs> I will kill you in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I actually, I did. Um, I, I, was, I was a grateful child. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the other story? The other one is um, who remembers Woolworths? Yep, Woolworths, the best right, this shop in the UK at, in the nineties and nineties. Was yeah, toys and pick a mix. Yeah, <laughs> and CDs <laughs> and VHS tapes. Everything. I spent many, many a happy year in Woolworths, just looking at stuff, not buying nothing, just looking at stuff. But I remember going in there with again, Mother Dearest. <laughs> Walking around, I get to the Power Rangers aisle, and I'm staring at the deluxe white tiger sword. I can't remember the interaction, but I do remember I walked away with it, and I was very happy. 
this this is the only piece of evidence I have that I actually started watching during season two because all the Thunderzords and everything they were everywhere, mm. and I then backtracked a bit. It's like, oh, Green Ranger, oh, Dragon Sword, oh, yes, please, and then they were gone. It was all White Ranger and Rocky Adamaisha and. I got my first Dragon Sword from a boot sale. This was before eBay, right? This is when I had to go to a real flea market. <laughs> yeah, this is what it's like growing up with the kids. It was all like uh, garage sales and uh, car boot sales. So, yeah, or Fates, if we're lucky. I mean, I remember when I went mm. to a Fate once and I actually picked up the sidecar for the blue battle bike. And um, and I think we got it for like 10p or something. <laughs> um, but oh, yeah... yeah. For me, I mean, talking about Argos, um, I've actually got something that I've had since I was a kid. It's a um, Argos exclusive Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Red Ranger watch that was only sold in the UK um, at Argos, and it plays this. pure 90s nostalgia and what's really cool is they also did um a lot of power Ranger watches um and argos they also did might moth in green and white and they even did uh the red zeo ranger watch as well which i thought was amazing and um they did quite a few power Ranger duvet covers i mean they did like two mighty morphin covers and they even did zeo yes i do own all three because you know I was a kid, big Power Ranger fan, loved them. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, one thing, that was a lot of the things I remember about growing up being a Power Ranger fan. And when it came to Zio, um, well, before Zio, we had the, obviously we had the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. And then that, around that time, that movie came out, Christmas Day, 1995, uh, is it either 95 or 96? I got a really awesome Christmas present. I got a White Ranger costume. And I've actually got a photograph somewhere um, that my mum and dad's got of me sta st um, standing, on my stairs, standing on the stairs in our house where, of me wearing this White Ranger costume. And I, re I, can, I remember it so well. It was like a plastic mask on elastic. Yes, elastic string. That's how long ago it was. <laughs> and there was um, eye, eye slits cut out in the visor so you can look out and see out. And um, I also had the cuffs for the boots um, were just yellow colour and vel and they were Velcro. Um, the, and then I had gloves, which were the... I don't know if you remember. I don't know if anyone remembers them, but the the gloves where you could do the swooshing karate action sounds, and if you put the gloves together, apparently with other gloves, they apparently played the Power Ranger theme. Um, again, I'll leave a link. I'll leave a link in description below so you can watch the commercials so you know what I'm talking about. Oh, he's not. He's making this up. No, I'm not. And then I actually still got. Um, I think I, st I actually still got the gloves to this day that I've just packed them away and I've also got a pair of Red Ranger gloves as well so that was really awesome so that memory sticks out to me a lot but my first Power Ranger toy was the um, 8 inch Mighty Morphin Red Ranger figure so the very first um, figures we ever got uh, the 8 inch ones and I remember Argos um, and I think they were about uh, 10 8 pounds each I think um, I would have to go back and look through the old catalogue pages. Um, Sounds archive. about right. Yeah, and um, so in Zio, I actually had a Gold Ranger figure, which I really loved so much, and that was really fun to have. So, um, and then I remember also with Zio, I had, and I've still got it to this day, I have this Power Rangers Zio drinking cup, um, which had a twirly blue straw that goes around the cup, and it had a Gold Ranger attached to the top of the straw. And I also remember having Power Ranger HP Power Ranger Zio spaghetti shapes with toast or with dinner. And I just loved eating those. And at that time, I was watching Power Ranger Zio on GMTV and I had my dad tape them. Then along came Fox Kids. Best 90s channel ever. 
it was like the pinnacle of Power Rangers galore. It's like every every series of Power Rangers was on that channel. Mighty Morphin, Zeo, and then Turbo came along and my dad started recording those. And that was really cool. And then I remember at one point they started showing Power Rangers Turbo on, uh, I think it was CITV at one point. Because I remember Power Rangers in Space was on CITV at one point as well. And that was really cool. And I always remember all the different toys and items that I just collected over the years. I think when it came to Zia, I think the most favourite thing I had was uh, the gold ranger figure I had, which was... um, um. It wasn't the tall figures, it was like this one where you push the back, you just t- turn the back of them and he would do a, he'd have his golden power stuff and he'd do... Action feature. Yeah, he'd do his spinny stuff and Zeo Red would be sword slashing, P- Zeo Pink had a spinning, would turn a pink power shield thing. But yeah, I only had Zeo Gold at that time and that was really cool. And I, but yeah, every time I came home from school, it was always straight on, Fox Kids, Power Rangers Turbo or In Space or whatever one was on. But the one thing I always remember when Power Rangers was on Fox Kids, there used to be a thing called uh, Power Lunch. And that was like a whole hour or two, or literally I think it was like an hour or two of just all Power Rangers, like Turbo or In Space and things like that. Uh, uh, what about you, Peter? What do you remember about Fox Kids and Power Rangers? Well, when I was growing up, it was all terrestrial channels. I only had channels one to five. So it was literally Saturday morning for me. I got one episode a week. And if I missed it, I missed it. So when I went round to my friend's house and he had Sky, mm. now this is where I caught up with all my season one <laughs> ins and outs because he had it all. It was the 90s equivalent of on demand. It was just all there and it was just an eye opener for me so i managed to catch up with all that and you mentioning um your first outfits and all that stuff i yeah. remember my first outfit and i still have it knocking around here actually it was a zero ranger five fit for i believe it was a six to seven year old size and i remember when i got it i was already too big to get in it <laughs> so I, di- I didn't get much use out of it do you have any photographs but enough, do you have any photographs of you wearing it no but i do have one better if you know where to look on my original Facebook page, Power Rangers UK or the Power Rangers Hall of Fame, some people may remember this, some people may not, but my son is wearing that outfit. Oh, that that's is the one brilliant. he's wearing in the photos. Oh, that's brilliant. That's a treasure hunt. <laughs> mm. hmm, maybe you guys can go and find it and then maybe you can link it in the disc- in the comments below. So, yeah. Um, but maybe, yeah, maybe. yeah, I think it from that from that point, um, because I remember in 1998, I actually got the red turbo ranger costume for Christmas, and I also got a saber sword, so I got the talking white saber sword, you know, saber the talking white saber, I meant, and I also got the power blaster, so I was quite spoiled back then <laughs> at Christmas. <laughs> Um, and also, I remember that same Christmas, um, I got in my stocking the... Do you remember the um, Power Morpher play sets? Um, where you had a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger play sets, where it was a Power Morpher, and he had like a little... Fig- Micro machines. Uh, yeah, I did actually get those a lot as a kid. Um, it, they, they always had them in the pound shop, and my mum and dad used to buy them all the time. And I used to love... It's alright. And I used to love getting those, because they were so cute and tiny. And and I've still got a lot of my Micro Machine Power Rangers to this day. It's so cool. But basically, um, the it, the it's I think they're called the Micro Morphin Playsets or Micro Morpher Playsets. That's and the one. Yes. You open the you open up this Morpher and there was like a little like um for Pink Ranger it was um, like a a rocky volcano and then you had the Firebird Thunderzord and the Pink Ranger figure and then a Venus Ball Flytrap figure. Um. And then I had a White Ranger one as well. We had Tommy, the White Ranger, with Tiger Zord and Goldar. And then you can, like, do traps. Again, I'll leave a, li- I'll leave a link in the description below so you can watch that commercial. <laughs> oh, there's too many things to go through. <laughs> okay, over to you, Matt. Um, what about you? What do you remember of Fox Kids and Power Rangers? Now, jumping toward the future, um, I remember... Um... I think by the time I was watching Power Rangers, it was new enough. Fox Kid was well. I had one to three, so we had the ITV. 
Um, I don't remember much about the Time Force, but I remember watching season one of Wild Force and seeing all that new CGI and everything that Disney was doing. I think there was so only one. There was only one season of Wild Force. <laughs> season one is like, hang on, there's another one. <laughs> Back when we only had one season of a season. <laughs> yes, except Mighty Morphin, we had three of those. Oh, that's the exception. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, Mighty Morphin Bias Indeed. Ranger. <laughs> but yeah, it's like near enough they blew me away, and near enough every single after that, near enough I watched try and watched like every single season afterwards. Even I watched Operation Overdrive when it first came out with Once a Ranger and. Uh, I love that. Yeah, I love like that. Going through two, like going through two and everything like that. It's just like that got crazy. I mean, oh. when they when Power Rangers moved over to Disney XD, by the time like Fox Kids and Jetix weren't even around anymore, it was just got ridiculous because it was mm. like Disney XD didn't even show Power Rangers RPM a lot, and that's when it was like, is Power Rangers finished? Is it gone? Is it? So there was a point where it said Power Rangers was cancelled, and I was like what i remember the the young me just my heart just broke at that point where i was like where is where is power rangers what's happening a bit of trivia for you um technically power Rangers was supposed to finish after season after in space it was actually supposed to be supposed to be finished after in space but because of how well in space it did they continued it to lost galaxy and then when it continued all the way to i think it was uh, Wild Force was the uh, Wild uh, Force was the last RPM. official Saban series. Even though yeah. Saban, um, the Saban name wasn't in the Wild Force logo, but that I think somewhere there is actually some old Wild Force <laughs> logos where Saban's Power Rangers Wild Force was actually on the logo. But, um, but yeah, also RPM was also supposed to be ca- was going to be cancelled as well. Was going to be the last Power Rangers season as well. But Saban bought the rights back from. RP, RPM, so they can make samurai and stuff like that. Well, they bought the Which. the rights from Disney because, um, uh, for those of you who didn't know, a little quick trivia for you guys. For those who didn't un- who don't understand, Saban Brands owned the Power Rangers, who and they made Power Rangers along with Bandai, um, because Bandai produced the toys and they helped to make it happen on Fox Kids. Um, basically, Fox Kids mainly happened because a lot, a lot of TV networks wouldn't have the Power Rangers. So then they decided, you know what, we'll do our own channel, and that's when Fox Kids was born. So basically, Fox Kids was born, um, was created because no other TV network in America would have Power Rangers. But by the, but then by the time Power Rangers Wild Force was finishing, it was like Saban sold the sold Power Rangers to Disney. And then Disney took over and did Ninja Storm. And then Ninja Storm, Dino Thunder, all the way to RPM. And then, as Matt said, it was basically going to be cancelled and that was it. Then Saban came to the rescue and bought bought Power Rangers back. They did a revamp series in America of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, which, unfortunately, we didn't get in the UK on TV. But I think you can get it now on Netflix, I believe, and on Amazon as well so you can go and check that out uk ranger fans if you want to um and then obviously it continued then with the neo saban era with samurai super samurai mega force super mega force in uh dino charge dino super charge ninja still ninja super still and now obviously up to present day we are with the hasbro era with power rangers uh beast morphers so I think it's interesting to see how Power Rangers have changed um, over the years. I mean, there's not a lot of Power Ranger merchandise as much as there used to be. I mean, I remember um, having things like I had a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers t-shirt, which had the Red Ranger, Blue Ranger, Black Ranger and White Ranger. Um, I remember drinking this little Power Ranger Zeo tropical fizzy drink, which I loved drinking a lot. And it usually had um, Zeo Red or Zeo Yellow on the front. Um and also another thing i loved collecting a lot as a kid were power ranger annuals and all those books but the only problem was by the time they got to power rangers in space there wasn't any annuals and then it sort of like it, the annual sort of went quiet until uh power rangers ninja storm we can always do like a um another podcast about how power rangers have evolved over the years but 
that's another topic for another day. Yeah. Now on to uh, what? What do you want to say, Peter? Um, well, we covered a couple of points there. Um, the first point I was going to make was um, Power Rangers RPM. Was the reason that got cancelled? They blew the budget <laughs> for that season. I heard somewhere. Yeah, they did actually spend a lot of money sure. because of the graphics and the stunts. Uh, too much. Mm. Too much money. But that's the thing. Originally, I mean, that's why it went to... I think it, in the end, um, they went to a different company because Parringer's RPM started filming with one company or one director. And then it then... I think it was like after 10, 16 episodes, it changed over to a different director and a different filming company, I believe. I think that's how it works. Um, if you want to learn more about that kind of the history of power rangers the toys and the series you probably want to watch a netflix show called toys that made us and watch the power rangers episode which is season three episode two so here's a little something for you guys to go and check out and yeah i think that's about it really and i think it's amazing how power rangers has just grown and adapted and of course naturally we will do a podcast in the future as matt said earlier so yeah that's it so i just me and the team would just like to say a big thank you to everyone for listening and as always please remember to like the podcast share the podcast um comment below now your question is do you have a power rangers memory growing up as a kid or do you remember your first Power Rangers series you saw? Or do you remember your first Power Rangers toy you owned? Or anything really. It doesn't matter whether you're in the UK or America. We want to know what was it like growing up in Power Rangers and where you come from. Because it's always interesting to learn what Power Rangers are like in other countries. And of course, go, go subscribe. Go, go subscribe Rangers because we've got many more podcasts and videos coming your way this year. And all that's left for, for us to say is goodbye from me, Admin Goku Ranger, and my amazing friends and teammates. Admin White Titanus Ranger, Matt 321, may the power protect you. May the power protect you. And finally, and Admin SPD Shadow Ranger. Shall we say it together oh, after three? One, two, three. May the power ahead. protect may you. May the power protect, protect you. you. <laughs> we nearly did it. <laughs> may the power protect may the power protect you ranger nation i'm too tired <laughs> see you guys soon we care. love you guys bye-bye bye.